All right, what's up guys? Today, me and Jackson, we headed down to our local pond to catch some perch and hopefully trout. And uh, we're doing a little catch and cook today. As you can see behind us, this is the pond. It's not terribly big, but it does have perch, trout, and sucker bass. fish. And sucker fish too. So uh, we'll see what we can get on and uh, see you there. All right, first things first, down on the ice, we're gonna check the depth. Get the auger blade cover off. We just talked to a guy, he said it's about three and a half. Someone was out here with the quad, cleared the ice off for us, so that's nice. Yeah, we might get a few cracks. It's not crazy. All right, should be good. Point you guys down so you can see what I'm doing. He's pretty thick. He's thick. Oh my. What are we looking at? Closer to four? I'd say so. Yeah, we're definitely over three. Closer to four. We are good. We're good for ice fishing. That's a good sign. We'll still be very safe though, because looking around, you can visibly see some soft spots. Our goal is, we fished this pond a couple times. We've done pretty decent. Um, so we're gonna head out to where we typically go. Typically where you wanna be in here is just right in the middle. Anywhere in the middle, you should be catching fish. Um, we're gonna be trying to do a catch and cook for you guys too. So like some perch tacos on the ice, first time doing it. Sure. All right, second test. Still pretty thick. Oh, got a little bit of pressure cracks. It's to be expected. We're sitting just the same. See someone I think was ice fishing right there actually. Yeah. All right. Is this the spot for sure? Yeah. It's the same. We're rocking three and a half easily. All right. I think this is going to be the spot. Definitely. All right. Let's get this set up. <laughs> Oh, it is. Really? Yep. Where? He's broken. All over. Oh, shit. Is that what that snapping was? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, our tent broke. I'm guessing it's because we were back up at Hebgen like a week ago. And when we were putting it away, we heard a snap. So, uh, yeah. Our tent broke. But uh, we're hopefully going to get a new one here soon. And... We still continued fishing. Bro, did that work? Terrible. It's like the cheapest tent you can get though, so makes sense. I guess uh, that really does mean we need to redo tent. Yeah. She only lasted like one year, dude. I don't know how that happened. It must have been so cold that we were pushing it so much. Something like that. A little tip if you didn't know this um if you pack snow around the edges you can uh you get more insulated like the tent just 
doesn't lose as much heat. So uh, you always want to do this when it, you know, drops to negative and stuff like that. It will really help out. This is what I'm rocking with today. It's got the old macho minnow right down to a little jig kid. It's gonna be difficult to tell how I'm on bottom. This thing's so light. <laughs> oh, I'm getting bit. I'm on. It's a trout. It's a trout. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Nice little stalker. Not very big, but. Ooh, he swallowed it? Oh no. I just dropped out too, dang it. All right, one last look on the guy. Let's get him back. Sweet, dude. All right, so right now. I'm gonna go set up my dry tracker. Probably put it like 25, 30 feet away. I can't really move out too much. Also, there's this really thin patch right here. It scares me a little bit, but whatever happens, whatever happens. Alrighty. Let her sit right there for a second. Hopefully, I don't get bit. And I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with jaw jackers. If you're not, that's how you do it. Kind of check out those two little pins. You don't do that. Just take it out as far as you need it. You grab that same pin and you stick it through. It should be an arrow. Yeah, the arrow right there. So I'm going to bring it out to like four. We'll do three. Not too far away, put it in, doesn't move. Same with this thing, mine's actually broken. So you basically just put it through this pin. There's supposed to be a pin on the other side, but mine still works. Take out these pegs, pop them out. And you are basically set up. All right, so just put it over the hole like that. You put your First, I got to get it drop it down. See how deep it is. Oh, all right. Josh is on already. So what? Really? Well, Josh already caught one. Look at that. You'll know you hit bottom when kind of just like spools up in front of you. It's actually kind of surprising that this is. It actually probably already hit bottom. I'm just stupid. I'm sorry, I don't know if I'm at bottom yet. <gasps> Really? Yeah, I 
Either it's super deep right here or like I'm stupid. No, either can I, dude. Okay, now I'm at bottom, I think. Yeah, okay, I'm at bottom now, so. One, two, three. Pop it like that. Get it in the jaw jacker. So you usually have these little loops. You basically just throw these through. Pop that up like that. And she's all set. Now, to be completely honest, not 100%. Mine's at the right place or not, but we'll figure that out later. The most common, I guess. Maybe, maybe not for you, but for me. Montana, the clench knot, I think is the most common. It's fairly simple. Maybe it's not so simple. There we go. And just pull like that and boom. Get your cinch knot. Too. Cause that's, that's where I'm gonna have mine. That's not where you're gonna have yours. That's where I'm gonna have mine. I'm gonna be able to see you. Alright. So, since a big crack happened, uh, gonna have to space out a little bit just so we can be a little more safe. So, move my setup probably like 10 feet away. Now we're just gonna hammer bottom and see kind of what happens. We'll see. I'm on. Yep. Too big? No. Thinking perch. It's a perch. Let's go. First perch. That would not be an eater. No, that's scary. It is a good sign. That means there's perch in the area. Yes, sir. Right. Was that on the Swedish? That was on the jig. I don't have a jig hat up, so I'm kind of nervous. Uh, both of the fish have been on a jig. All right, got this nice little perch. Let's get a release for you. Sweet. That is perch number one, fish number two for me. I'm on. Again? Again. They're in the area, dude. Oh, first eater. That was on the mock. We would have eaten this guy, but unfortunately, I think I'm not a hundred percent. But he has little black speckles all over him, and I believe those are parasites. I don't want to take any chances, so I'm just gonna get him back. Oh, oh, he's good. Sweet. <laughs> A bit. Really? Yeah. I felt it too. Dang. I'm on. Wait, am I? Yeah, I'm on. I'm on. Oh, okay. It's nice. It's a pretty nice one. Eater? Ah, oh, nah. Little oh, small guy. Oh. First fish. Barely got that hook set. 
Do you think it's too small? Yeah, it's too small. Good little little guy there. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Come and on. we're double gold up. <laughs> Feels decent. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. Well, there's keeper number three. I'm knocked off. Sorry, I'm knocked out on off camera. I'll show you guys our little pile. Yeah, three keepers. On. Nice perch. Too small. Yeah. I mean, actually, to me that looks too small. From here, at least. It definitely looks small, but like, that's typically what they average in here. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Eh, we'll let him go. We'll hope for a bigger one. All right, fish number two, or. Er, no, fish number four, what am I talking about? Oh, he is stuck under the ice. Oh, he's good. All right. Come on. Oh, it's a nicer one. Me personally, I recommend putting both on just because the extra weight is easier to tell. Yeah. Okay, well, first eater of the trip. Uh, I'm on. Oh, it's an eater. Keeper number two. You guys can see that. Another nice one. I'll get him knocked out for you guys. I'm on. It's a nicer one. Oh, never mind. He's a, just a little guy. Alright, well, just got another one. He's just barely too small, so I'm gonna get him back for you guys. Come on. Okay, this. Oh, this is definitely a nicer one. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now that is an eater if I've ever seen one. Biggest one of the day. Well, you guys can see that, but that is an eater. Jeez, set my rod down for one second. Yeah. That looks a nice one. Oh, never mind. He's not that big. There, in the area. Well, we're going to end it here. We caught quite a few fish. And one trout. We got four keepers in all. Definitely enough to make some tacos. So... We're going to get packed up, and I'll catch you guys at the cooking. Oh. <laughs> I'll Alright, so we got them filleted up. It's not the prettiest, but I promise after these are cooked, it's going to look so much better. Right now, just got this little egg wash. I'm going to dump them out of here. So we got our little batter right here. What we like to do is just add the seasoning to the batter. 
Got a little fishmonger and old gun. All right, so next up, got to transfer the fish that have been in the egg wash to the batter. All right, sorry for the mess, guys, but we're working with what we got right now. I'm going to get the pan heated up and get the oil in. I can finish it off. All right, so we got the oil nice and heated up. Got the flays right here. I'm gonna drop them in. See if we can't get a nice sizzle for you guys. All right, and it's been cooking long enough. Let me get them out. Let's give them a nice little flip one more time. That is the finished product. It's looking pretty good. Alright, so we got our tortillas heated up. Now we're going to get the fish on them. Can I get four since you... Okay. They're not the biggest tacos, but they will do. Me personally... I'm a Frank's type of guy, so let me get that added on there. This is the finished product. Cheers. A little taste test for you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's mm -hmm. good. So good. Oh, it's my cool. cat. It's my cat. I mean, who wouldn't want some of this, you know? Oh, wow. Perch is definitely my favorite fish. Walleye. Compared, or it's tied with walleye for me. I think when you do the crispiness like this every time, it's weirdly mm -hmm. amazing. All right, well, I think this is going to signify the end of the video. We'll catch you guys in the next episode.